Okay, I just want to talk you through a few methods for adding colour to your um, uh, your threshold images. Um, so you might well be at the stage by now that you have quite a lot of images on your canvas, uh, which is really good. Um, but you will want to add colour to them at some point. And we've already looked at adding colour when you did the um, threshold picture of the Eureka Tower. So in this I just want to go through a few methods for adding colour in, in, in some different ways as well. Um, I And I'll just feed you through them as quick as possible. Um, the first method I want to show you really is to is using the paint bucket which you can just click on and if you click on paint bucket and then click the colour chart you can see how different kinds of colours come up and you can select them and paint bucket will basically put these colours into the right kind of areas on your picture so you just kind of fill it in if you want to change the colour you can um, a bit of yellow on there too uh, so you can just basically do the white areas uh, it will if you click on the black area it will change those too so you can just go back uh, if you want just, uh, there we go. And uh, you can just add colour, um, whichever colours, whichever whatever colour scheme you want, you can add the colour as you go. So that's the paint bucket uh, method. Let me go back and come back to the white version that we've got here. Uh, you can also add colour by selecting. Now, if you want to add the same colour over the completely over one particular element of the image, an element that's on its own layer. Uh, what you can do is go to the magic wand, click on that, and I'm going to invert that so that I'm selecting the actual object that I want. Um, I'm going to choose a colour, say blue, in fact cancel that. What I'm going to do is to go to solid colour, and this, this is the adjustments menu. Sorry, the um, let me get that right. This is the um, adjustment layer. Add an adjustment layer. Say blue. Okay, that you might notice, notice the whole thing goes blue. That's okay. You, if you go to multiply, then it will colour it in, and you can still see the uh, the black elements of the picture. Um, you can also uh, use difference, and it gives that similar kind of colour two-tone scheme that you had in the Eureka Tower uh, as well um, but I quite like multiplying as a method of adding colour to um, the object 